Score is wrong. I'm gonna change it real quick. Because all of my automated stuff broke today. So that's why everything's a mess. So I wrote some new code and literally everything broke. Teams pick their intro music? Yeah. They can pick whatever they want as long as it doesn't have lyrics. As long as it's not like horrible. Like, I don't know. It can't just be like moaning or something. Like, <laughs> it has to be music. <laughs> Alright. Angel's gonna be our yellow team. Diamond's gonna be our light blue team. This is the franchise debut for both of these teams. They are both new teams this season. Angel's gonna crash directly onto Diamonds and crash onto the objective. What's up, Cat? Thank you for that three stream streak. Appreciate you. All right. This Angel's team was actually, they're kind of descendants of the Ragu team we just saw last match. Chris used to be on that team. Their tank right now used to be on that team. And then they added some new players. So they went from a Division 2 team down to a Division 4 team to kind of start their own, like, <laughs> descendant team from the original Ragu roster because Ragu was becoming kind of a bigger team. So you might see Chris and be like, wow, this guy does not belong in Division 4. And that's because he used to play in Division 2. <laughs> What's up, Chill Flu? Thank you so much for that follow. Thanks for tuning in to our debut matches today. Sam, the double kill on the Reaper right now. Angels, full throttle, full steam ahead. I'm not sure if any Angels players has, have died yet. Both teams running a sort of divey setup, but interestingly, we're running Ash with the dive. On the side of Diamonds. But, I mean, no hate. I do that all the time. I'm like an Ash one trick on TPS, so I'll be playing Ash no matter what my team comp is. All right, Diamond's attacking point now. Angel's backing up a little bit. Melk getting very low. If they could take out the Mercy here, that'd be big. Sam is going to get Broshak, though. Opening pick. Sam is going to... I mean, Devil is going to send Kodzi right off the side of the map. Sorry. A lot of these usernames are new to me, so I'm doing my best. So Devil going to at least get a kill here for Diamonds. And it was a pretty flashy kill. I mean, if that's the one kill you get the map, might as well be that one. But it seems like time might already be expiring on Ilios. Darklight, the only one in the area, not going to be able to touch. Their body's going to come straight from the top there. It's Angels with a flawless first round. Chris and Div 4 is a crime. Wait till you see Division 3. Oh, wait, brother, if you're in Division 3, oh my gosh. Brother, I'm praying for you this season. Division 3 is like something else. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> it's We're going to need our divisions to balance out a little bit. We'll just say that. Yeah, Division 3 is turning into an arms race. It's true. I felt like one of the teams got really good players and then a bunch of the other ones started like recruiting like GMs and champs and it's going to be an interesting season for Division 3. And actually we'll have our first Division 3 match of the season. It's going to be right after this one. It'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern today. It'll be our final match of the day. All right, control point number two. Angels were flawless on that first round. It did not get capped once. I think they only had one player die. Infu gonna punch Broshak there. The opening pick. And another double kill for them. Darklight getting some of these players so low. The Doom is so low. They just cannot seem to finish them off. Somehow escaping. And Angels are gonna have to fully regroup here. I agree, Smelly. <laughs> See, Smelly went straight to D4. I do not blame you, brother. All right. Angel's already in control. They're about 30% here. Chris gonna take out Devil. Pulse Bomb's gonna come out. Oh my gosh, it's massive. 
it lands on the tank but then blows up both supports. Chicken man, an accessory to murder there. <laughs> As the pulse bomb planted on them, it's gonna blow up their entire support line. <laughs> Chris in trouble though, gets anti there and already half health. Could have sworn that sleep connected. Diamond's still looking for a pick so far in this round. They've had so many players low, it's just getting the final little, like, 10 damage has been what they've really struggled with. I become death. We're probably not going to have a Division 5 next season. It'll probably maybe be the season after. Probably not going to have a Division 5 for two or three seasons. Instead, we're going to be adding more teams to our current divisions. We're going to go from five teams to six teams in a division, and then probably to seven teams in a division after that. And then we might add a division. Five. That is the current plan. <laughs> they're going to nano the brig. Golden pants. Running at them, and they're going to scare everybody away. And Diamonds is going to cap point here at 97%. Nobody wanting to duel <laughs> the nanoed brig. I don't blame them. It's scary. We might be seeing some swaps here. We're just gonna go for the Bastion pick instead. All right, that's big. Div four is likely gonna get strong too. I'd say some teams in Division four are very good right now. Angels are very good right now. Celestials are very good right now. Guardians are pretty good. I think I don't know about Saturn. I think Saturn has a stack lineup. I think I just named every single team right now, except that maybe Diamonds, who might be the only like real Division four team. Chicken Man gonna blow up Kodzi though, and Devil is gonna get a kill in there. See, they've been so close to getting all these kills that when they finally start to land, it's like an avalanche. Dark Light gonna get a double kill on Sam. Ooh, Dark Light heating up. It's a 1v1. Miku gonna win that 1v1. Chicken Man coming back to stall, gonna force the hog back. Diamond's finally starting to get some life here. I think a lot of what's happened, and I don't. I don't want to complain about it because I think it's a good thing is I think it's becoming bigger just like the league in general and so high rank players are coming right but there's nowhere to go like division one is they're good division one's like yeah we're, we don't need any more GMs and so the GMs are just like okay well, what's the next best thing I can do division two or division three or division four so I mean what do we do in that scenario we just add more teams so everything is going to be just fine okay. <laughs> Diamond's still in control of the point here. Chris and Chicken Man really going at it, but Chris is going to get lots of healing right there and going to be able to weather that storm, and it looks like Angel's probably going to be able to cap here. Golden Pants might be able to touch and be quickly taken down by Sam. Angels are going to win their first map of their franchise history. The only person I know is on Saturn is the owner. Yeah, see, like, I know Meow Pill, right? But I, I'm not familiar with any of their other players. I feel like there's a lot of teams this season where that's happening. You know, it wasn't so much a thing in the in the earlier seasons because in the earlier seasons, when a new team was made, it was just like bench players migrating to a new team. So I already knew those players, right? But now so many teams like, like let's say Diamonds or Fresas or Outliers or or phantoms i just i don't know these people which is like that's good i mean obviously cool to see new people but <laughs> people are like what's your predictions i'm like dog i don't know i have no idea who this is name eight allies players yes yeah, i probably could hold on i'm gonna quickly accept this challenge from penguin real quick penguin impira dry noodles show ya That's four. Um, 
Honey dip. Didn't we just add a player named Travis today? Two more. Come on. All right, I don't know. You got me. See, that's I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I I don't know the players on these teams, which is good. I'm excited to I'm excited to see them play, but right now I have no idea who they are. All right, Diamonds in control. We did have a swap here. Looks like Twisted has came in for Golden Pants, so a support swap. Also, the tank swapping for Angels. Smelly Snail is going to be coming in. Shaq gonna get Chris. Chris actually looks like they're off DPS now. Melk's swapping in onto DPS. So lots of interesting swaps here. Not sure the reasoning behind it. I thought Fick was on Evergreen. I did forget Heathens, it's my bad, and Cinnamon. But I thought Vic was on Evergreen. All right, after a strong first push from Diamonds here, it looks like Angels might be starting to take it back. Smelly Snail gonna get Chicken Man. Dark Light is gonna get Chris before they go down. I'm gonna quickly swap Melk and Chris since they swap rolls. Give me one second. There we go. Did they mean to do that? I don't think Melk plays DPS. I mean, I could be wrong. They, they got that gold gun, though. Who am, I, who am I to say they don't play DPS? I mean, they got that gold ash gun. I don't even have a gold ash gun, and I'm an ash one trick on DPS. <laughs> Darklight gonna whip out the blade. It's a great sleep from Kodzi. Might still get some value here, though. Gonna slice up Chris and almost get Melk as well. And here comes the diamonds. This is refreshing to see. I was a little bit worried for diamonds, but now it looks like they might have just needed a warm up. Who knows? Maybe they just got on, but they're looking they're looking very good now. <laughs> Chris getting low, both DPS looking at him. Bob is going to come in. Melk barely getting away with their life. Going to hide in their own Hammond's minds there. Now Angels turning this around, but Angels have not pushed it even a little bit on the side of diamonds. You're not true Ashman? True, I'm a Batman. I'm just uh, Ashman on TPS, which is my worst role by a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Sorry about that, Penguin. I'm getting my, my D3 teams mixed up. That feels much better. Couple alts on both sides here. Angels finally pushing into Diamond's territory. Chicken Man goes straight for Melk. Kodzi also in trouble. Twisted gonna finish him off there. Smelly gonna get a little bit of revenge getting Broshack, but they are deeply outnumbered. They might be able to get Devil though before they leave. Sam gonna finish off Devil, but gonna go down. Smelly's gonna have to regroup with their team. We have to get the robot back. You wanna play ball? <laughs> you should. Tell Ghostly to put you in on ball for first map. <laughs> Against Olympians. Elk now on the Symmetra. Not sure if that's for the Genji. That might be a good pick though, because Darklight is definitely heating up there. Smelly Snail, the opening pick, gonna get Broshak right after they ulted too, which is big. Now Chicken Man in trouble as well. Chris, the double kill on the Lucio. Melk being jumped on in the back, but the turrets are going to give them an assist. So Angel's back in control. And now with all five players alive, they have a real chance to take the lead back here. Dark Knight does have a blade though, and they're also getting close to beat. We'll see if the diamonds are able to try and stop them short. Who do you think is dropping to division three? Um, I don't know who's on polar but it'll probably be Polar or Misfits, realistically. Olympians was in that conversation, but I think they just did some recruiting, and I think Olympians is going to be just fine. 
And Angels do take the lead right back. Right around the halfway mark of the map. Four minutes to go. Chris narrowly surviving. Chris going absolutely crazy on the Lucio. They still have Pecora, I think? I don't know. I've heard mixed reports on that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. We'll surely see, won't we? Chicken Man finally puts an end to Chris's rampage. And now the pressure is on for the Diamonds. They don't have the lead anymore, and they're a map down. And when it's just first to two, they might only have three minutes left to get this done. Cora, though, I'll tell you what, that dude is a great IGL. Ragu was hosting some pickup games last night, and there were some people from other teams there, and I was playing with Bakora a few times. I see why they were able to lead Olympians to a championship in Division 1. Like, dude is a great uh, shot caller. I'm not used to playing with that since I play in, like, Platinum. <laughs> but it was refreshing. You don't see Misfits going down? I honestly, I hope so. I'm rooting for Legion and Misfits since they're new to the divisions. It would be kind of sad if they did all that work to get to the next division just to go back down. So I'm definitely rooting for them in that way. Angels once again in control. They've got the bot and they are moving. Desperation time here for the Diamonds. They're gonna need to win multiple team fights in a row otherwise First match is going to go to the Angels. Sam does go down to Broshak's alt, though. You just have to deal with Smelly Snail. Smelly might be able to get out alive, and they will. They know where the health packs are. A true ball player. Twisted. Also going to get some frags on Lucio. Not letting Chris have all the fun. Going to get a double kill there. Yeah, like I said, Penguin, I don't know who's on Polar. The, they have four players on their roster that just joined that I've never seen before. So, another one of these teams that I don't know about, but I'm excited to see them play. Melk is going to get a double kill on the Symmetra. Look at Melk go. The Mercy one trick pulling up on Sim, getting big kills. And who said Mercy mains weren't versatile? Look at that. Lots of alts, though, for diamonds to work with. They have everything except coalescence. They use their tools right. This isn't over for them. They still did push it a lot in the early part of the game. They are down to just 60 seconds. Yeah, we're going to start the art alt party. Not able to find anything there before they get slept, though. Chicken Man also using their alt. They could burn through these alts really quickly. They probably don't want to use both of their last two alts here, but they are gonna lose Twisted, probably fine. It's the Lucio. They'll be back. Chris is gonna come to just spoil the party. Oh, Dark Light though, landing all three shurikens. And Chris's head hitbox. All right, this is their push. They can try and save this match here. Send it to map number three, but they're gonna have to play it perfectly. They do have utility, but in the meantime, Melk and Sam both have their TPS ultimates ready to go. So it's really going to be a question of who uses their ults better. I mean, it's stacked against Diamonds right now, but a couple big plays from their players here could make all the difference. Diamonds going to try and go here with their ults. Gets woken up. Going to slice through these supports. Dark Light with a big double kill. No supports for the Angels. And now they are moving. They're getting close to this check checkpoint. And the robot is going to stall at the checkpoint to do an animation. Smelly Snail going to try and spoil the party coming down from the sky with the Hammond Mines. And this is it for Diamond. Sam with the huge ult is going to get three. Smelly's Mines is going to finish off one there. And Melk will get the last on Dark Light. Much more entertaining map than the first one. But it'll still be Angels coming out on top starting their season strong. 1-1-0 in franchise history. Big Reaper ult to finish it off. Well executed.